Don't you hate it when you forget where you parked? Like, completely forgot where you parked? Like, it could be anywhere in this entire town. Forgot where you parked? <sighs> it's a nice day though, good day for a walk. Whether I wanted to go on one or not. Oh wait, there's the van. We did this, yay. This is Brandon, and I have a pretty weird life. I mean, I'm a dad, I have a demanding cat, and I own a Sci TV, a streaming television network that puts me on a never-ending road filming awesome people in awesome places all over the nation. So I'm inviting you to come along for the ride and see what it takes to run a Sci TV. And I'm doing the van life thing while having fun, amazing, tasty, and weird adventures. Are you ready? It's the Asai TV life. All right, we need a little bit of summer cleaning. I don't know how much I spent on this, but I have no use for it anywhere. Or do I? You see, I want to put the Jackery right here. Oh, but I gotta move a lot of stuff. <laughs> huh. And I gotta find a better place for my pee bottle, too. I might replace this flimsy thing. Does that fit in there? Oh, I think it does. With this one, if it fits the Jackery. Why is my Jackery unplugged? Why is there stuff plugged into it? What the hell is going on right now? Okay, it does fit in there. It fits nicely in there. Hmm. This is where having a much bigger van would just rock. Like. <laughs> Definitely need a bigger van. Got the jackery stowed in a really good spot. And when all the cargo boxes are in there, it's gonna keep it in there, along with this little uh, leg here for the bed, right next to the baseball bat, of course. So it's kind of wedged in there nicely. It's not gonna roll around. Plus I got another power station back there, a little cheaper one, a little Stanley guy, but it's still good. Never enough power. Um, so that's cool. The only problem is, is I have to get longer cords <laughs> for the for the charger and that's it this new trash can is kind of badass it doesn't really close that well you have to kind of like i will never do that <laughs> but it doesn't rub against the fridge which for some reason is hanging outside no, that's pretty sweet works good just flap it closed who cares plenty of storage room nice and funny enough the pee bottle fits pretty much right there doesn't seem like it'll rattle around or anything i'll probably stand it up yeah just kind of wedges in there with that bungee cord for the fridge sweet okay got a couple of headlamps a book for the van how much do i need that in the van i don't know but i cleaned out everything so far except for my avocado filled with a ton of quarters and now i have this little quarter thing over here so that's cool. I guess I can also have that. But all of this stuff has to go back into between here, here, and here. I have a ton of these. I don't know how I got so many of them. I mean, they're, they're cool. They work. But why do I have three of them and I have two upstairs? I don't even remember buying them. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> what the hell? I have enough poopery in the van, I think. I think two is suffice. So I told um, a few people that I carry these baby socks around so I can rub one out on the road and not make a mess. Yes, it is good for that. Uh, but mainly, it's to keep stuff from uh, not rattling like this. Put a little baby sock around it or a big sock, whatever. And they're not gonna rattle around in the glove box. I watch a lot of van life shows, I learn things. 
This is pretty cool. I forgot about this. Wear that under your shirt. This thing is sharp as hell, too. Wear that under your shirt when you're not feeling so safe. I'm going to put, like, all the garagey and weaponry and stuff like that in the glove box. And then, you know, all the basic needs and toiletries up here. Like, uh, healing hand cream. That's definitely up here. Let's put it the other way. So the opening's at the top. Uh, suntan lotion, absolutely up here. We are all set up, dude. Look at that. Looks all really organized. Still got to do a full cleaning, cleaning of this place. Like literally scrub every inch of this van before I let anybody else in here. <laughs> it's gross. And this little wear, wear and tear right here, that kind of sucks. I have Velcro on one pair of shorts in the back pocket. That is destroying my seat covers. Otherwise, I love these Motor Trend ones. Uh, are they the most durable thing in the world? Apparently not. I have completely forgotten why I left the house. I was gonna go out and buy a new plant. I see a bunch of plants, I'm at Lowe's. See, yay. And I need to get something to eat. I'm starving, I have no food in the house, so I'm just gonna buy something somewhere. But I completely forgot what else I left for. It makes no sense that I I'm blown away here. How dumb can I be? It just, I had three things. I said the donger needs food, which means I'm hungry. I need a new plant because Reggie died today and that makes me sad. And there was something else. And I, I'm trying to think of what I was doing before I left. I was trying to, was it a van thing? Was it? Hanging plants that are not going to die. Uh, I don't like these. Sorry, guys. I just don't like you. Here we go. I don't want flowers, though. I don't want tomatoes. I want something green and pretty. Not supposed to rain today, but man, I kind of hope it does. I like me some rain. I do not see any hanging plants, and I don't know what Reggie was. Um, I mean, he lasted five years where he was, so he must have did something right. Oh, I actually remember now. I bought him here. This is what he was right here. That's the exact same plant as Reggie was. Wow. I had one of these before, but it grew out of control and then it was such a mess. Sorry guys. Ooh, these are cool. Oh, don't let me start collecting plants again. I get carried away. This is cool. Ooh, that's really cool. What is that called? It is an exotic angel plant. Okay. I don't know, buddy. You might be the new member of the family. You're pretty. Playing a little Neil Diamond in the background. I am all in on that. They have bonsai trees here. Oh, bonsai tree. I just, I love plants. I just. I got a few years before I move into a van full time, so it's uh, it's good to have friends. That is a really pretty plant. I'm a big fan of this. Yeah. Okay, got the plant. Got some plant food. I've never done that before. Maybe I'll keep it healthier than Reggie was. Um, poor Reggie. Look at that old Sprinter van. I think it's cool. I don't know if he's living in that or not, but. I would be. Uh, this is giving me ideas. Bad ones. Really bad ideas, but uh, ideas nonetheless. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hmm. That looks really cool back there. <laughs> Damn it. I, I know it would jerk around and get dirt everywhere, and I'm hoping it doesn't do that on the way home, but I kind of want to plant in a van. It would die. It would die like in the first hot day. It'd be dead. That, that's cruel. Don't do that. Anyways does look good though maybe a plastic plastic plant would be cool save it for the big van brandon all of a sudden my uh dash cam isn't working it's plugged in that's a little weird it's out of nowhere so basically what happened is a little button on this little uh charger thing that i that's dirty down there 
and I hit the button by accident and turned it off. That's it. So good news. Good news. I've been on this local kick lately where I'm trying to only eat at local mom and pop shops and restaurants. Uh, trying to try new things and support local business, you know? Having trouble finding anything local right now. It's, it's all a bunch of monochromatic chains and you know, familiar sites. I, I don't want KFC. I don't want A&W. I don't want Taco Bell. I don't want... Old Chicago is kind of local, but I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want pizza. I don't want any more Mexican food, believe it or not. I'm Mexican and Venezuelan fooded out. Gotta get the plant home before he gets hungry. Well, I got some plant food here. I can just feed them right now while I eat. I could eat in a van, feed the plant. The yet to be named plant. All right, I see Thai cuisine. I see a pet pantry. I see Indian cuisine. I gotta pick one of them. I'm not just gonna drive around all day. Which one's gonna give me the least amount of diarrhea? Um, Thai, I like Thai. So Thai taste cuisine. You only get a taste. You don't get a whole lot. You just get a simple little taste. And that's it. What are we gonna eat? I'm starving. I'm really freaking hungry. I don't want to know what's in this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I found a local restaurant. It looks really good. A lot of cool stuff. Trying a bunch of new stuff. And uh, it's going to take like 20 minutes though, because I ordered a lot of food. So let's go wander. We will start with the pet pantry. And uh, yeah, it's pet food. Ooh, what is this? Frozen yogurt pet treats. Peanut butter and applesauce. What? This is dog and cat. I'd spend a ton on this and Marcy would not eat it. Now this is actually a very good buy. Look at that steel. Because <laughs> mine is bending in half because my cat pees so much it turns into boulders and I know you need to know this stuff, but damn. That is sturdy. I'm gonna go with this guy. Nice, powerful, yeah. Plus they're playing the Rocky Horror Pictures show uh, soundtrack in the background. Good deal. I wanna do that. Just hang out and scratch an elephant ear. I got a lot more than just a taste. Yeah, thank you lady, you're the best. Oh, that's very heavy. I'm gonna weigh this much when I'm done. It's support small business until big business becomes smaller business. Oh, you'll never know what you're fine. I had no idea I'd be eating this today. I'm hoping it's uh, rather fantastic. I was gonna make a couple more just goofy stops, but so I'm trying to rediscover, you know, Colorado Springs where I'm living. It's it's a lot here I haven't done, and I just want to do little things like, you know, little restaurants and shops and fun stuff around here because I'm traveling so much, I'm almost forgotten this. But that food smells so damn good, and that plant is begging to get home, so I think I'm going to call this day a day and run my ass home because I am freaking starving. Oh, it is 6 o'clock today. I have not, I, it's 6 o'clock. It is six o'clock and I have not eaten yet, so that's that's why. I've had a cup of coffee and two pickles today, and I didn't even realize it. Never let me order food when I'm hungry again. I don't want to tell you how much. Oh, shit. It's a lot of shit in here. I don't even know what this is, but I'm going to eat it. Oh, little chicken dumplings. Okay. What else is in here? I don't know what this is, but I'm going to eat it. What is that? Oh, we have soup of sorts. I don't know what that is. Play me. Okay, whatever. That might be the peanut sauce I asked for extra of. There is some rice. Um, sorry, Marcy, I bought you treats and you didn't eat them. So they're sitting over there. If you want to eat something, that's where you go. Out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Taste of uh, Thai. I think that's what it was called, wasn't it? 
Thai taste or something. I don't know. These look good. I like I like dumplings and things like this. Tastes like it's supposed to. I'm not, it's not great. It's not bad at all. It's good. I'm a huge fan of peanut sauce, so let's try it with that. Oh yeah. Mmm. That makes a little, whole other thing right there. You know what this is? I forgot what I had ordered. Uh, I ordered some kind of a chicken pineapple thing. <laughs> Maybe that's pad thai. I, I don't know. It's not pad thai because it's not noodles, but... I, I, oh, it's the curry. The I've never had this before, so I'm interested. I'm very, very interested. Oh, it's spicy. I like a little spicy, so I'm excited about this. Ah! Again, it's okay. Mmm. The potatoes in there, fantastic. Oh yeah. If they open at nine, it's like 8.55. I wanna paint this. What do I do? Is this already too far gone? I don't think it is, it's still sturdy. But it's ugly as hell. I don't wanna take it off. Definitely don't wanna do that. So I don't know if I can get the damn thing back on. I wish I would have painted it before. I just want to paint these outer ones black or something. It's so damn ugly. I am bald again. I like this look, man. I had long hair, like down to my ass long for most of my uh, youth, like really long hair, kind of like, like my kids got long hair, kinda, but my shit was long, like down past my ass type long. I don't even think I can do that anymore, but I don't know, I'm trying to be a professional now, so a professional something. Oh, it's not attached. So close. The hunt for a new pee bottle. Continues. I am attempting to make a new intro intro for a call to adventure with Chantel. I freaking it's kind of cool, like it's like a scrapbook of all these things that we've done. Why are you freezing up? Nobody asked you to freeze up. There you go. Okay. What I was saying is it's kind of cool to see all these things that we've done for her show. And that's just her show, so every frame of this was shot with my cameras and she is a, a remarkable human being. Not just career-wise, career wise, I can't talk today, career-wise, but a great mom, infectious personality, just a good person, man. I'm just so grateful to have Chantel on board. So I didn't even realize it was like Memorial Day weekend. I don't pay attention to things like that. Just another reason for uh, people to drink and be stupid, and it's already starting, man. I'm, I don't mean to be cram cranky, negative Brandon today, but I really don't want to be. What is that? You know, I had a weird white fuzzball in my eyeball. Oh, I'm parked. That wasn't so bad. Eight dollars, not terrible. Someone's jamming Pink Floyd. That's a nice change. I like the band's playing it very well. It's very weird. It's a pretty good event. They do well. It's my goal to bring all of these people to my event in December. I wish I had uh, flyers <laughs> or something. I'm going to start at one end, walk all the way down, grab business cards along the way, and go down the other side. I'm hoping to get about 100 of them by the time I get out of here. Hoping to. Just the fun stuff. Usually the street, it's really cool. There's usually not as many people here. And there's cool shops and restaurants all up and down here. I got a lot of friends that have businesses here. But uh, this is their one big day, their one big weekend a year, to say the very least. 
I'm still walking like towards I got all that way left to go just to get to the end of the row so I don't skip anybody so basically these kind of events for me are a gold mine because uh, not only do you get to meet and greet all these local vendors and everything and bring them to my event but you never know where any of them will lead something they might lead to their own shows they might lead to permanent sponsorships you never know so if I can leave out of here with 100 150 business cards and I follow up with every one of them which I will it's a gold mine Fast forward to right now, I've got about 50 to 60 cards in my pocket. Cool. I still got a whole lot more to get. It's nice to see this many people behaving for the most part. Okay, let's say I got 80 cards, which I'm done getting cards. Let's say half of them say yes. It's $200 times 40. You do the math. That's the way I look at these events. I can't have fun anymore, so <laughs> I don't just sit there and go, oh, this is gonna be fun. No, that's, this is work. No idea where I'm going. I got a sticker with an outhouse. This is Pikes Peak, Colorado. And I got a van sticker that has Colorado on it. I gotta represent Colorado. I don't have a whole lot of Colorado stuff on there. And I bought Duke Cannon Cannon Balm, which is Offensively large lip balm. It says it right there. I got the mint flavor. Let's give this a shot and see what's going on. It takes a minute to open this thing. It's offensively large. I actually have dry lips too. Oh wow. I normally like the Burt's Bees uh, medicated ones. That's nice. A quick stop at Mountain Mama's Natural Food. It's like the mom and pop shop that we all go to. It's a little more expensive, but it feels good to uh, help them stay in business. Ooh, that kid almost wiped out. That would have been great. I don't want to see the kid hurt, but I do want to see them fall. It's funny. It's always funny. I love these things. Those are insane. These are even more insane. Must have at least one. This as well. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. I might just put my face in it. Just in my face, one of the two. That's so good. Just the little mom and pop sh grocery shop. Kinda have to love it. Lollipop <laughs> makes you poop. All right, I've picked up four new stickers. I got one from Mountain Mamas from local radio station, why not? A couple of Colorado ones. Where shall we stick them? I don't really listen to the radio, so if that falls off, that's cool. There's that one up there. That one right there. On the back. We got our little monster right there. It's filling up. I almost feel like I'm on the road. I'm having a good day. Eating a turkey and everything, whatever the hell I ordered, I don't remember. Man, that looks good. Mm. Mm. Let's try this fermented pineapple drink. A lot of carbs, holy crap. Wow. Okay. Actually, it's like good and not good. I don't know. So I slept in today. <laughs> I slept in until about 11 o'clock today. I'm not picking up the kid today because he's out camping and I'm watching a little bit of Adam the Woo. I like these little YouTube shows, you know I do. I like Adam the Woo and uh, I like I like Carver Bagger. We've interviewed him on this channel before. We. There's a bunch of them out there that I like watching, Van City Van Life and 
Nikki Delventhal, and there's a, there's a lot of them. Especially Nikki Delventhal, yeah. So maybe I could honestly just spend my entire day getting cat hair off of my bed. Look at this, look at this. This is from one night, cat. Yeah, you better feel bad about this. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna go. Sometimes they're the best days you'll ever have or days you just, just go. It blows me away to realize that I've been in Colorado Springs since 2006. It's like before my son was born. Like it's like 2006. Let me do the math real quick. Um, seriously, I can't count. I can't count. All right, La Casita. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye. Okay. It's actually the first time I'm eating in the van with the new center console. Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking. Yeah, simple enough. Some simple old tacos. They're really good. Their salsa here is really good. And the best thing that they have there is their green chili. Colorado's a green chili state. And uh, La Casita, I don't know what they do to it, but it's the best damn green chili I've ever had in my life. Here we go. Mmm. Today is a hit. Just that one bite. Oh yeah. And they give you tons of stuff. If you ask for cheese and onions, they're gonna give you some cheese and onions. You're gonna be like, damn, I got cheese and onions. Most of it's not even on the taco, it's just on the bottom. You make a little taco salad. Mm. I've eaten tacos everywhere. I've had green chili everywhere. The combo between their tacos and their green chili together, there's nothing like it. Now this is the carnitas pork burrito. This is the first thing I ever ordered there and it'll be the last thing I ever order there. They don't know what they do to their pork. Oh man, come on with the sour cream people though. It's like everywhere. Really? They sour cream the shit out of this. Try not to make a mess in here, but did they give me napkins? They, <clears throat> they did. What good people. Kaplowy, this is gonna be a freaking disaster in here. Here's the thing, I have no idea what I'm doing today, but this right here is better than being at home, looking at a computer. I'll sit here, talk to you, because I have no friends. <laughs> oh, they also make their own tortillas, which is great. They're almost like a flatbread. They're not even, like, they're tortillas, but they're really thick and they're really fluffy and they're just tasty as hell. Mmm. Oh. I remember the last time I ate here, and the reason I haven't eaten here in about six months, there's a bone in the pork. Easy mistake to make. I'm a cook, I know. Not one you should make, though. And I bit into it, and it hurt. My gums were bleeding. So I was like, all right, screw this place. I'm out. So this is the first time I've eaten there since then. Mm-hmm. I was gonna go drive through Garden of the Gods, but no. <laughs> There's a freaking line that's like all the way out to the street of cars that are going up the mountain. I'm not. Let's do it later this week. What do you think? <laughs> like when it's not Memorial Day weekend, when people are at work, I'll come out here in the morning time and we'll go discover all of that stuff. Oh, they got the whole damn road closed up here too. Wow. Oh, we can't stop and see the visitor center. 
This is really weird. I've never been here before. I've been to the gift shop, but I don't remember any of this. So yeah, new discovery. I've never been to this uh, welcoming center before. Great view though. Yeah, it's hard not to love this city. Get to wake up and see this every day. You know me, I like gift shops. I need a sticker. This is the only one that says Garden of the Gods on it, so. Hmm. S'mores. Cool deal. Discovered something. It wasn't life changing or anything, but it's windy. Can you hear me? Got a sticker. Yay. So I walk in and the security guard is like, no, no, take pictures. First of all, you can't tell someone they can't take pictures. It doesn't matter if it's public, private property or not. You can, like, that's like telling a stadium where the place is not to take uh, pictures at the events. It's really stupid. So I was going to say nice things about this place because it really looks nice, but not anymore. Look, I'm filming in your store. Look, I'm filming. <laughs> this place lets you take pictures. Entertain Mart. This was kind of my favorite place when I was collecting Funko Pops. And I can't believe the new Funko Pops they've got these days. Oh, there's another Stripes one. This is new. Freaking kidding me. Picked the wrong time to stop collecting them or the exact right time actually. Why I was able to buy a van because of the Funko Pops. So I don't know why it bothers me so much, but I did look up the law and for a business to say you're not allowed to take pictures or uh, videos is a suggestion. It's not a law. The law says I can. So you can suggest that I don't. You can put a sign on the door that says no filming, uh, but that is basically like saying, please don't film, which I would have seen that sign, which they had none. Um, I wouldn't have filmed. I would have been like, oh, cool. Let's get my mangoes and be on my way. But with the attitude of that security guard, no, that made me want to be a little devilish and a little de deceivy, de mischievous, devious, uh, deceivious. <laughs> Do not start collecting things. Do not start collecting things. Do not start collecting things. That's a sexy man. Oh my god. What I would do to you if you were a human. <laughs> Your tailpipe would be in so much trouble. Alright, one last stop. Why not? I actually used to work here at this very one and at the one in Detroit. This is what I want right here. The price went up. Ugh. I'm the worst person in the world right now for those that work here. <laughs> Which it doesn't appear to be anybody here, so that's even better.
actually that one's even more expensive. <laughs> Why they're so expensive, I have no idea. So on behalf of our happy security guide with his big long beard at the Asian Pacific market, uh, we're going to uh, enjoy some pork and green onion steamed buns and a little bit of uh, vegetable and chicken dumplings. All right, let's give them get steamy. And yes, I'm well aware I made way too much. I always do. You don't get no pot stickers. You don't get no steamed buns. You get kitty cat food of what you don't want to eat. You can't have this. You get kitty cat food. So I'm thinking it's going to be this kind of night. Definitely not going out. On Memorial Day weekend, that's just uh, risky to say the very least. So I think it's gonna be a nice cat night, a little cat snuggle. Sorry about the nipple right there. Let me cover that up. Gotta cover the nipples, you know. This isn't a OnlyFans site. This is free stuff you're watching here. If you want nipples, then you gotta pay. Ooh, I am freaking exhausted today. I didn't sleep last night. I don't know why either. I did all my old tricks. Put on like a thunderstorm noises. <clears throat> Still couldn't sleep. Oh, I guess this is my new mailbox. <laughs> box so what that is is kind of a game changer for me because it's a lacy 12 terabyte hard drive that I can put every file that right now my files are scattered and so unorganized all the TV shows all the even pictures and music and everything is just crazy disorganized right now after eight years of editing film and just Kind of willy-nilly saving things wherever this will give me an opportunity to put everything on one hard drive and lacy is the best if i'm saying that right it could be la Saie, it could be a who knows but it's a good hard drive it's the best out there i didn't need like a 20 or 50 or 80 terabytes i just needed about that many and i'm sure i'll fill that up quickly Sticker so bad. I got a cool minivan. Shut up. Look at all this stuff. What is Air 360? I don't even know what that means. I think that's where you get your tires filled. <laughs> really? That that huge building? Yeah. Well, this is neat. Top Golf. I prefer Bottom Golf. Mmm. Come on, that's funny. <laughs> Spelled our name wrong. What is this? Ball number one. Do you have balls? Where are your balls, sir? This is very cool looking. This is the first time we're using these clubs, and I'm very happy about that. We've had them for about a year and a half. Never been interested in golf at all, ever. So what does it tell you, like where it went? Yeah, it's all up in the blue. Oh, there's a whole screen over here, I didn't yeah. see that. There's a little Geico guy in there too. And then it shows you where it went, really? Well, that's crazy. How does it even know? Is there sensors in the balls? I'm blown away by this. This is cool. Golfing seems so easy. But it's really not. Damn. Driving. I'm 
doing some chipping and dipping. What are these? Mac and cheese bites? Oh yeah. Oh, those are stupid. Oh man, those are stupid. Should be good. Why are these so good? Oh, because this mac and cheese and breading and fat and carbs and dead. Let's get back to my stuff. It's a little healthier, not much. That's been in the refrigerator for a while. <laughs> fantastic today. That's what happens when you take a bath before you go to bed. This. Wow. What on earth is going on? Anyways, this is fun. He seems to be enjoying himself. Hit the truck. Hit the truck. Oh, he's perfect. He's gonna be right there. He's gonna hit the truck. Everyone's trying to. You're gonna hit him. Oh, close. Oh. This one has solar up there. It's got a max air fan, air conditioner. It's got a side pull out. It's so pretty. They're from South Dakota. A little ladder on the side. Nice four wheel drive tires. Oh, that's so pretty. There's no fish in here. What are they doing over there? I want to see them. Colorado's Great American Outdoor Store. This place is really elaborately done. And there's a redneck paradise in here. Look at this. You want this shirt? <laughs> America. NRA. Uh, freedom. Freedom. Ah, that's mine. <laughs> Good eye, kiddo. It's all fun and games until someone loses a wiener. Perfect. Black crappy. <laughs> What's a black crappy? Black crappy. Which one of you are a black crappy? Hello, black crap. Oh, hello, black crappy. Look like the black crappy. That guy totally broke his ankle. That sucks. Camping stuff kicks ass. I didn't even think to come here. Look, new pee bottle. <laughs> I've been looking for this pee bottle forever. This is too small though. I need a bigger one. I don't see it. That sucks. No, it doesn't look like they have a pee bottle. Maybe I'll get one of these for a pee bottle. A one gallon jug. Yeah, it's only $100. The opening's almost big enough for Mr. Floppy though. Almost. All right, we are at Shields and what did I find? Oh, yeah. It's way more expensive than it was at Camping World, but it's whatever. Look at that. A brand new pee bottle. I am pumped. I wasn't going to film here in Shields because we've already filmed here at Shields. But since I've got found the pee bottle that I want, I have to document it. Aren't you excited? Golf stuff. Let's look at golf stuff. Enough golf on this episode already. Man, you gotta dress like that when you do this in high school, though. Ooh, what is that? Uh oh. That's kinda, wait, that looks expensive. Oh, it's cheap. It's really cheap. Huh. It's got a foam roller on it, too. I could take a pee and then massage my back. That's actually really smart. Oh, look at the big one. What in the world are these? That This is perfect. This poor bottle. It's so cool and it has no idea what it's in store for. That was a good one. This one is, uh, this one's coming home. You wanna, you wanna name the new pee bottle? No. <laughs> the search is over. It's a pee bottle from Shields. We've done it, people. You and I, together, we have done this. This is a nice one. It's a, it's a foam roller, like for your back and your neck. And now, not so much. Are you balling me? Ow. 
sure about this, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to trade in his clothes because they're getting a little small for him. And, uh, yeah, I've had these things sitting in my apartment taking up space for a year and a half. <laughs> Perfect condition, used once. Tactical pizza cutter. I want a tactical pizza cutter. So what are you buying? That one. That knife, a Chris knife. Oh, it flips up. That's why it's so expensive. You guys are on the right. You're the coolest. Thank you. I'm not going to tell you what's up. But the uh, great so happy. diver record is coming out. It's a weapon. Don't take that to school. You can't. Why? Uh, well, when you do go to school, don't take it to school. It was a very large knife. Why does it look bigger here than it did there? Oh, I'm scared. Don't stab me with that. I mean it. If you kill me with that knife, I'll die. Okay. So, living in Texas, this is not a very big deal whatsoever. And I'm not a huge Whataburger fan. But, this boy has never had the Whataburger. So, we're going to go stab some of their people. And, uh, yeah. Get some burger times. I wonder if it records like that. It's so weird. You can't really record. Wow, that's just that's creepy. That's like horror movie stuff. It's like a haunted Whataburger. Oh, look, it's moving. Ah, <laughs> I don't like it. Take it a second. So we just waited a half an hour to get these stupid Whataburgers, which you don't have to do anywhere but in Colorado. And of course, we asked for no tomatoes, no onions. Oh, mine looks like garbage. <laughs> Tastes like a cheeseburger. Pretty good. Mm. They're not bad, they're just not wonderful. Not five guys. It's time to say goodbye. I've had my wiener in this more than I've had it in any other former girlfriends or anything. Probably shouldn't have said that in front of you, but anyway, it's whatever. Walk Here you on. go. Throw it away. <laughs> yeah. No liquids or chemicals. This bag is not a toy. Really? What? The lights in here suck. The lights in this apartment are garbage. We have toys. He got a knife and some Whataburger. As for me, there's some stuff that came in the mail really early, and that's kind of cool. Wow. <laughs> if you ask me, what do I not? Got me another George shirt. Perfect. It's a wardrobe right there. It's all fun and games until someone loses a wiener. I like it. <coughs> Dilly suit. What? <laughs> I was watching you choke to death for some reason. Okay. So on a scale of one to why the hell did I buy this? This you is a ten. And I have this. Oh, it's upside. It's crazy. Inside out. Always wanted a ghillie suit. They had one for 50 bucks. We returned his golf clubs. The knife he bought was only like 80 bucks. So this was only 50. This is creepy and cool. I have no use for it, but I want one. So I have one. I'm gonna laugh when I full audio in my face. <laughs> Marcy. Am I freaking you out, Marcy? Marcy doesn't care. She really does not care at all. <laughs> Thank you for having a fun day with me. Put your stinky shoes up. This is good. The back is bad. Thank you, sir. Stop taking out aggressions on me. Here's my, here's my George Carlin sticker that I thought was an entire Marcy, huge metal sign. Marcy's messing with your camera bags. Marcy, being a bad kitty. Being a 
bad, bad kitty kitty. So I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. How much can I squeeze into it? However long this is. I don't know. I got the kid all week, so we're going to... There's no school. And I got a lot of work to do, but... Who knows what kind of adventures will go on next? Who knows?